I'm the first woman mayor in Bethlehem, but the second in Palestine. This is about the story of a woman elected. Usually, when women go for election, one of the major points they need to have confidence in their capacity. Without having the confidence in your own voice and capacities, you will lose. The second very important factor, honesty of living the reality and the experience of daily lives. When you speak about the citizen, normal citizen's experience, dire experiences, suffering, you are part and parcel of the, of the daily life, you will speak about people to people injury, people to people hope, people to people capacity to create a change. That is very important. As I always say, I didn't come from a parachute up to down. I've been living among them. I personally have suffered a lot. As a family, suffered a lot from the occupation. As a woman, I had to carry on a daily basis the life of my family, of my husband as well, who was a political detainee. My children, have to suffer, have to accommodate with our circumstances. So I had to work, I had to study, I had to lead a different life. From that daily life, that experience of knowing how to be and insisting on to be, that was my best weapon to go for elections. Because I'm talking the language of the people, the same. Women suffer from the ramifications of conflicts on a daily basis. They are the ones to know and to live the experience of the political conflicts and how much it affects their lives. In Palestine, this political conflict also affected the role of women. Women became also the main breadwinners. They are the mothers of detainees wives of detainees, of martyrs, of injured. So they will carry the role twice and double. By itself, a real pressure on women on all sides. So they be the best to sit around the table to negotiate because they are negotiating their lives as well. How they can bring better status and better situation uh, to their own lives. They are victims par excellence as well. Why not to be given the opportunity to speak, to negotiate? They suffer from the conflicts in their own way, in their own manner as well. So the attitude, the point of view, the experience of women that they go through in these conflicts, they deserve to be put on the table to discuss and negotiate for in order to end it.